my leading lady, <laughs> my, my leading lady in a picture we recently completed is one of our happier imports from Europe. A bright, talented, and sexy blonde beauty named Elkie Summer. She's here this evening with the only man in town her husband will trust with her, that dapper, debonair, dandy Don Knotts. <laughs> <laughs> I am here to present the Short Subjects Award. And I'm a short subject. <laughs> and, uh, well, being with Elke is my award. Don, you're very nice. Thank you. Oh. Well, not only that, but off screen, I'm really very tall and extremely handsome. <laughs> Would you begin, please? Yes. For the best achievement in short subjects, there are two ca categories. Categories? Mm -hmm. Categories. Live action and cartoons. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> and for live actions, the nominees are The Chicken, Le Poulet, Ren Productions, Claude Berry, Producer. Fortress of Peace, Lothar Wolf Productions, for Farner Looser Films, Lothar Wolf, Producer. Skater Data. Byway Productions, Marshall Beckler, and Noel Black Producers. Snow, British Transport Films, in association with Jeffrey Jones Films, Edgar Anstey Producer. Time Peas, Muppets Incorporated, Jim Henson Producer. May we have the sealed results, please? The winner is the chicken, Claude Berry. Accepting for Claude Berry, Jerry Purcell. Congratulations. For Claude Berry, who is in Paris, thank you. Before we get to the cartoons, Elke, do you have a date for the ball tonight? Yes, I have. Well, let's get on to the cartoons. <laughs> <clears throat> Nominations are Clay or The Origin of Species, Harvard University, Elliot Noyes, Jr., producer. The Dot and the Line, Metro Goldwyn Mayer, Chuck Jones, and Les Goldman, producers. The Thieving Magpie, La Gazza Ladra, a Giulio Giannini, Emmanuel Lazzati production. Emmanuel Zadi, producer. Let Mr. Nuts open the envelope, please. This is my favorite. The winner is the dot and the line, Chuck Jones, and let's go. A uh, great deal has been said in favor of uh, the idea that films are bigger than ever. We feel that occasionally some word can be said for films being smaller than ever. Norton Juster's book, uh, The Dot and the Line, we felt was a delightful small book. And I'd like to particularly thank those people who, against all temptations, fought to keep it small. Um, I'd like to, to Maurice Noble, to um, Eugene Podney, and of all things, to Robert Morley. Thank you very much. It's a rare and privileged time when a major studio goes way out and backs a strange and wild entertainment film like The Dot and the Line, and I want to thank the MGM management for being with us all the way, and of course, all the members of the Academy. Thank you.